Good day, everybody. Mike Flores and Manny Patino here with New Homes 101 and Monarch Homes. Thank you so much for tuning in to another beautiful home in beautiful Las Cruces. We are in Metro Verde. In fact, this is kind of a historic moment because New Homes 101 headquarters and Monarch Homes is at the corner of North Sonoma Ranch Boulevard in Santa Minerva. We have never been easier to find, let me tell you, we're the big home on the left as you come into to Metro Verde. Now, this is our model home. This is where we do a lot of work. This is 2,384 heated square footage. It's a four bedroom plus study, three full bathrooms, and a three car garage. Now, what's gonna amaze you today on pretty much everything on this home, I'd say about 88% of it is gonna be standard and included. So what you see is really what you get. And uh, this video that I'm gonna do is really gonna be about teaching you what this home has. I'm also gonna give a few um, recommendations, professional recommendations that we have discovered over the, over the years of doing real estate business in Las Cruces. So of course, when you're looking at real estate, you always wanna start with a very good lender, someone that knows about banking, maybe someone that's local. Uh, Citizens Bank has been a preferred lender of ours for a very long time. Uh, if you're looking to get started, that's a great place to start. They're all over Google and easy to find. So outside of this home, this is your Tuscan style. Uh, this is referred to as a 70-30 home on, in terms of the roof, which means 30% of it has all the pitches, the gables, the hips, and they don't use shingle here, of course. They're using a decorative tile, a roof tile. Very beautiful stuff, and as you notice, this particular elevation or outside style has the stone all the way across and uh, is more of a square look, so there's not very many arches. We do have other you know, looks of this floor plan um, that will have arches both inside and outside um, and no extra charge. You know, Monarch's one of those deals where they just want you to be very happy with the home in terms of what you, what you chose. And just look at this. Look at all the coach lights. Five coach lights, a drop outside chandelier. I mean, two exterior front windows, and then you have these eight foot garage doors with windows up top. And we're not talking about any upgrades yet, folks. The outside landscaping, the only thing not included here is gonna be these decorative lights we did. This is for night presentation, um, which I can't wait to do this year at the uh, Twilight Tour at the LCHBA. Uh, really, really cool event, and we wanna light this up really nice. You're gonna be really impressed with the inside accent lighting that we have. I mean, this is gonna be a great tour. Can't wait to bring you all the way through this. There's gonna be some good information. So as we take a look, um, this is what I really, really like. So you have this flagstone path, you have these oversized stones coming off, you have the boulders, you got you know trees, bushes, everything's on a drip system. But look at this. So we don't get a lot of rain here, but we do get an abundance of sun. And it's nice to have people that are you know coming in and they're shaded. You know, those folks have shade. You also have places to have maybe some furniture, maybe some nice flowers that don't need a lot of sun. Uh, they need to be protected from that heavy sun because we have two or three months out of the year, we do get a bit of sun. So really cool about these type of lights, very easy. I mentioned in my last video that you don't have to learn trigonometry or algebra to change a light bulb. You can just take it right out, no need to take it apart. And this is what it looks like. So if you're coming off North Sonoma, just take a left right past the roundabout and uh, you will probably see us. I mean, look at all these homes being built. And folks, if you're looking at any new home, the first place you should start is New Homes 101. I mean, we're all agents. We do this full time. We're always looking for opportunities for our folks. And we certainly do appreciate everybody that has contacted us, which has been an abundance. And uh, we thank you very much for that. So Mike, as we, we do, we do everything. Everything. We do use, everything. new. Uh, we, you know, specialize in, in new homes mostly, yep. but any price ranges. Yep. And then since you're talking about the weather, Mike, I know a lot of crazy things are going on. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here in Las Cruces with 55 degree weather. Yeah. And we're in between Christmas and New Year in yeah. 2022. Yeah, it's it's amazing. And honestly, I, I feel really bad for folks that are in those big, big storms, those historic storms are calling it. In Las Cruces, we're at, yeah, right now we're 50 degrees, 55 degrees. We're in suits, we're outside, and we have a little bit of an overcast, which here that's kind of nice. You know, we don't have, usually it's blue skies and, and a lot of sun. So it's nice to have a little bit of shade one day and uh, give it a little bit of a change of, of, of the uh, environment around us and cool it down a little bit. Really nice, this is really cool. Now, what you'll notice when you're out there shopping is the size of the doors, and the front door is one that you need to pay a lot of attention to. This is 42 inch, so most builders out there in this area, they're gonna have a 36, or they're gonna have something smaller, it's certainly a lot smaller than this. 
um, and hopefully they include a peephole. Some builders don't, some builders do. We have a speakeasy glass and I'll show you what that is. So 42 inch, um, if you get one of these, when you're building or looking out there, you'll thank me when you move in a couch. Uh, very, very nice. But speakeasy just means that you have a really cool way to check who's here and it kind of looks, it's kind of bougie, right? So you kind of open it up and, and you still get the light. So this is obscure glass, it's really nice. And the outside, before we enter, a couple smart features. There is an outside plug, of course. You have your video doorbell. Um, that's a Nest product. And you have another smart feature here, which is gonna be your digital um, door, lock. door lock, which is really cool. And right when you come in, folks, 16 foot entry, something that Monarch is known for um, in the Metro Verde area, especially in the, com in the community that we're in now. 16 foot entry, lots of space here, um, beautiful four and a half inch trim, drop chandelier, a uh, couple of accent windows up there, just really nice. I know I look probably really small in this video. I've mentioned my size before. This is an eight foot door and it probably makes it look like a tiny little, you know, little tiny door for a closet or something. But I assure you, this is a very big space. Plenty of space for artwork, family, you know, memorabilia. If you want to put some furniture, you know, it's got definitely a lot of space for that. Manny, should we start in the garage or should we start in here? It's such a big home. Remember, 2,384 square feet, folks. I think the garage, Mike. We're going to the garage? Yeah, let's, cool. let's do the garage. Let's do that. So, there are two things to really note that aren't included. Um, number one, of course, is the third car garage. That's now the third, the, the pull-through bay, if you get the third car garage option, the pull-through bay comes standard. And of course, garage door openers are standard. Those are built driven. Built driven is very quiet. I can see Manny heading over there to the, you know, we can have all these going at once and still have a conversation. Don't have to yell at each other. It's kind of nice. Everything is insulated, um, including the doors, the walls, the ceiling. It's all sealed. Um, this particular floor plan has this really cool feature where you can put some, you know, just storage. I mean, that's one thing that all new homes have in common is a lack of storage. Garage so, insulation is standard, Mike. Oh, right? it's standard. That's... Yeah, garage insulation, paint, uh, trim, the texture walls. We try to match it to the home. Uh, it, we try to finish it. Now, you'll notice the flooring. We just had this done, and I want to make another recommendation. If you already have a home, uh, or if you have any questions about who do you talk to about epoxy, uh, Rhino is the gentleman that did this. And let me tell you, I don't think I've ever seen a better epoxy job. And I just wanna give him a, a, a huge shout out for the job he did and, and thank him very much for, for this. And this is what you can expect from him. It's Mike, incredible. I think he used 12 pounds of flake. 12 pounds this. of flake. When I mean, everybody he didn't just do a little, one. yeah, you, you see folks that, you know, you go to a, 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 you, some used homes, me and Manny see a ton of homes as you can imagine every day. And you see a lot of jobs where you just see a little bit of flake here and there. And then you come to this and it's like, holy cow, like amazing work. And he came by today and he's like, maybe I should put another coat. You know, I'm like, oh, dang, that's very, really refreshing. So. Um, definitely give him a call if you're looking for any kind of coating. And on um, the three-car garage, Mike, the pull-through is standard on the three-car garage. On a three-car garage it is. And it's the same quality, Manny. It's gonna be your eight by eight garage door on the back and an eight by eight in the front. Of course, the main garage door is gonna be eight by 16. And yeah, they're, they're quality doors. I mean, they're, they're legit. Now, you do have a tanked water heater. We can do a tankless, but this is what it comes with. It does come with your recirculating pump. That's what gives your, your home instant hot water. Really nice to have. Two things about this. This is your soft water loop. Um, most places out there, this is an upgrade, 750, 850, 1,000 bucks. We just include it because we think it's necessary. It's very, you know, we're in the desert. You're not gonna have super hard, hard water, but it, it is nice to have that option if you ever do wanna soften it up. And then this right here is your water shutoff valve. 10 foot ceilings. Again, the, the garage doors are eight feet. So if you wanna put bike racks, you do have higher, walls that you can work with. And certainly if you have a long, um, a long bed truck or a dually, you know, you could definitely got some space here in a planned development community that's not taking up like an acre of lot, uh, acre of land. A lot of folks are, you know, moving in from places where they have a lot of maintenance. You know, when you have an acre of land, you have an acre of work. So a lot of folks are coming in to kind of, you know, more enjoy the living and, and enjoy the home instead of having to go outside and work every day on the on the property so well we know people like a lot of our clients are selling their homes in in places like utah where oh yeah they have 30 some acres yeah oh yeah and they're they're tired of it yeah they're oh yeah tired. yep 
No, they come out here and they're like, I don't want to do a single one more, you know, cut grass or do anything. I don't, and I don't blame them. So a couple things, if you notice the soffits, they're arched here. We can do flat soffits if you want. Um, we can round the corners for you or we can uh, do the 90 degree angles. It's really up to you and there's no charge for that. The only places you're gonna find carpet is gonna be in the bedrooms and their closets. And of course, we do have an option to give you tile throughout. And it would be the same you know, level of, of tile that you're seeing here. Eight foot doors, 10 foot ceilings as you enter into these bedrooms. And by the way, these are the lowest doors and the lowest ceilings of the home, which is gonna be your eight foot door and your 10 foot ceiling. So it's good to know. Now we have this as a conference room. We really just wanted to put this in here to show folks the scale and the size of this. This is a little bit over 12 by 12. It does have a walk-in closet with another window in there, kind of nice, extra shelving, extra hanging space. And of course, with Monarch, you do get the, the two-inch louver blinds and also um, your, your fan. And the fans do come with remote controls to control the speed. And you can also dim the lights. Now, first bedroom is kind of a presentation thing. So when you come into here, you have 3CM granite, you've got tile to the ceiling, you've got all these things that catch your eye immediately drop lights, pop-out mirrors, shampoo nichos with deco tile. Um, you have a name brand like Delta um, out here. All your faucets are gonna be Delta. Same thing here. Soft close cabinetry with matching hardware. And this is all gonna be soft close drawers and doors. You're gonna be very impressed with looking at um, Monarch's cabinetry. They're really nice. They do a little bit extra than what you're normally seeing on the market. Really nice drop chandelier or drop, Mike, drop lighting. Can you explain the warranty of, of Delta? Yeah, yeah. So I, I've gotten some questions about that. So Delta is one of those things where if you're buying new and you're the original owner, there, there's a lifetime warranty with Delta. There's other products out there like Moen and Anderson. There's, there's quite a few. Now, if, if you're not the original owner, a lot of those warranties don't transfer for lifetime. Sometimes only give you like five years or 10 years. So. Um, when you're buying new, there are some benefits to new that also transfer into warranty, not to mention structural warranties that come from the builder. You, every time something happens, you know, I'll tell you this, every home that I've ever built and probably a thousand in my career, um, literally every home has issues. Every home has bugs. And the reason why is because no one's ever lived in it to actually work those out. It's nice to buy a product and not have to whip out your checkbook every time something happens. I, like a lot of folks out there, I've bought used homes, resale homes, and you're always buying someone else's problem and that person is probably buying a new house. <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of, that's just the way it works. Again, arch soffits here, and then we can do, uh, we can do with the uh, flat if you want, and we can also do the 90 degree angles on, the, uh, on this little pop-out steel here. Anywhere you see the transition actually. Nichos, very beautiful. Um, we're known for this. Every time we do an interior nicho that's not getting wet, we ledge it with the granite. We do 3CM granite, not for mica or tile. We do 3CM granite throughout. In the bathrooms, the kitchen, and then we do deco tile. And of course, the decor plugs. We had a client a while back that recommended those. And if you're watching, my friend, thank you. Because you were right. So eight foot doors, this is the study area. And the only thing you don't get in this is gonna be the ledging. This is where we actually do a lot of our work, folks. This is a relatively new model. It's our third model. Um, we've only been around as Monarch since June of last year. And we've actually had gotten quite a few awards. We've gotten two kitchen awards, best kitchen awards. Um, we've competed at the LCHBA and we've actually done really well. Looking forward to seeing Monarch compete in, in this year's because we've really um, gone all out. Now in here, this comes with tile. We can make this a fifth bedroom if you'd like, but it does come this way. The only thing you won't be getting is this. And honestly, if you wanted it, I could probably give, it's not that big of a deal, but you know, it's a lot of folks don't want that kind of stuff in their study. You can use this for a game room, work, a lot of folks working from home nowadays. We do have four extra lights in here. That's also standard. So you have a little bit extra light in your study. And it really is nice when you have this closed and you're walking by, take a look at this. So there's a lock on this one, but I won't lock it. I don't think I'm tall enough even. I mean, take a look at that. That is just, I mean, you're walking by, you see plants, you see a desk, you see professional, it's just beautiful. And of course, if you make this a bedroom, this would just be a wall um, coming out of a foyer. And you have two nichos here, by the way. You have one on each side, deco nichos. 
And then before we go in behind you, Manny, don't don't give a, a, a sneak peek over there. That's a really nice area. I wanna, I wanna save that because not only that part, but there's several more parts. The master bath is amazing. The outside landscaping is absolutely amazing. The kitchen, just wait. I can't wait to show you this. So as you come in here, you have a smart thermostat, 10 foot ceilings, extra LED lights. And then in here, you have a couple of things that don't come standard and it's just gonna be the sink and the washer and dryer, but everything else that you're seeing in this laundry room is standard. The upper and lower cabinetry, the countertop, the undermount lighting, the hardware. Um, there is a couple of really cool things about this. There's some pullouts, which you commonly see in resale because someone took the time to put them in, but you, re you, you rarely see them in new. Take a look at that. I mean, you know, it's just the extra stuff that you see that's really makes a difference in the function of the home. And then you can you can control the light here, you can control it individually if you'd like. And then this right here is your smart panel. Now, I've, I've gotten questions about this on, on, on comments. Thank you very much for commenting. This is the one of the biggest panels that's on the market that our vendor has, it's about three feet. There's a power source here. The reason it looks this way is it's just roughed in, it's ready for your provider to come in and install it. And you don't have to have your router here, you can have everything but the router here, but we have Wi-Fi in this model and we can get Wi-Fi from every part of the model, even the master suite. So yeah. No need for extenders, Mike? No, not really. I haven't had that, you know, and I, I've lived here for a long time, folks. I haven't really used an extender. In fact, I think extenders kind of don't work in my opinion, um, but it's teach their own. You know, someone might have a, you know, uh, it might be turned a certain way or in front of something, you know, I, I've seen people, you know, certain people have an issue where certain other people's don't, you know, it just, it's one of those things. I would say to each their own, Manny, you know, I don't think this one will need it. I mean, we haven't, we haven't needed it. We don't have like special service here either. You know, we have cable internet here, so. Um, this is your second bathroom, 10 foot ceilings. You have your undermount, it, it pretty much identical almost to the one over there, except the, the bathtub is on the end of it instead of to the side of it. So it's a little bit more of a, like a hallway design. It's nice, it's, it's actually good. And you have two bedrooms here. And again, you got carpet here. This is a level four carpet, uh, 10 foot ceilings, eight foot doors. And I'm gonna show you something really cool about this door. And as you come into this bedroom, these bedrooms are around 12 by 12, uh, big enough certainly for a queen bed if you wanted to. Um, you got plugins everywhere. We try to include a lot of plugs. We are certainly above code. I got asked about that on a comment. Um, we are above code in terms of how many plugins we actually include in the home here. So we try to always maintain above code and we'll talk a little bit more about green pretty soon. I have a really cool announcement about that. Uh, but uh, fans, uh, Pella windows, Pella 250 series, very nice. I think I've done this a couple times. It's certainly for a lot of folks that come and visit us. And that brings me to a point. If you haven't been to 6151 Wild Sky, you're doing yourself a disservice if you're out there shopping. You certainly wanna come by, give us a talk. Even if you're not looking at Monarch, give us, you know, give us a visit, you'd be surprised. So this is a Pella Series 250, and everybody else in this market is using Alpine. Um, what's the other brand, Manny, that you hear Ply about? Plygem. Gem. I'm not a big fan. Um, I do like Alpine once you get off their bottom shelf, um, but these are certainly above what's common in Las Cruces. Keep in mind, our elements here, you don't need a hyper um, uh, green home to have a very well-built home or a home that produces as much energy as it consumes because to live out here is relatively inexpensive. Really nice, you can actually get to the screens here. Um, they are lifetime warranted. The warranty on these is lifetime. It's, it's transferable in the first 10 years. So if you're out there, you buy a Monarch home and Six years later, you want to move, or you you know you want to upgrade, or you want to downsize, or upsize, or whatever you want to do. Um, you can offer the buyer a lifetime warranty on their windows, and that's not something we see as realtors a lot. So, it gives you certainly an advantage. Next bedroom here, pretty much identical. This is a queen size bed for reference, just to give you a reference of size. It's not huge, um, but it is about the same size as the one we just came out of, so you can get an idea of what you can fit. And I mean, it, you know, the videos, folks don't do it a service. This is actually a really good space, um, but you have to come by and take a look for yourself. Again, uh, blinds are included, fans are included, comes with a remote control. You can keep the remote on your nightstand if you'd like. You could turn the lights off from there. Now, before we go into here, notice that we went through three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a study, a foyer, and a three-car garage. 
and it just felt really good. The flow of this home is amazing. The architectural value, Manny, if you can come this way and point that way, the visuals, the architectural visual of the home is incredible. And I like the doors in the front and the living and kitchen and everything is in the back. So it actually gives you a very good separation from incoming guests. So take a look at this. Manny, you've been in, gosh, you've been doing this since you were what, right out of high school or like yeah. 19 years old? Yeah. So I was 19. That's... How many, how many, how many model home kitchens or kitchens have you seen that look like this? N none. None. This is, and, and we were talking about this, Mike, earlier. This is one of the best model homes in Las Cruces yes. by far. By far. And we're honored to, to be here. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. No, we're honored it, to be making this video and we're honored to be, you know, open seven days a week, which a lot of people don't know. Yeah, with licensed agents too. Yeah. I mean, we're licensed professionals, new home professionals, but we dabble in resale and we do a lot of advertising, as you can imagine. Um, we have a lot of friends. It's a, it's a very, very cool market. Las Cruces is not a big city. If you're wondering where Las Cruces is and you're watching this video, it's about 35 minutes uh, north of El Paso. Um, from here, if I left here and wanted to go to an international airport to go to you know, Cabo or something like that, um, it's about 52 minutes long-term parking from here. So, and it's actually a very nice drive. It's flat, you don't have to go through any ravines, certainly no snow. I'm not saying it ever snows here, but it's not, not as definitely as much. Even in our own state, we have areas that have some pretty challenging weather. So uh, kitchen, this, a lot of builders out there call it a gourmet kitchen. This is our standard kitchen. The only three options in here that don't come with it is gonna be the fridge, um, the pot filler, and also this touchscreen thing. Now this is for music to these two speakers here. So it controls it so I can connect that to like my laptop, uh, to my phone, I can play music. Um, kind of cool, you know, it, it's, we did it for the model home. We just wanted to show folks that we can do that if they, you know, in case they want to play some music. So 3CM granite, this is a Monte Cristo. I love this granite, it's very beautiful. You got your smart faucet. And the thing about smart faucets, two things about this one, uh, no batteries, this is hardwired. To turn this on, to do this, notice it's not turning on, okay? You have to actually have this on and then you can start doing that. So leave that on while you're about to use it. It's really cool as you're cooking in this type of a kitchen with built-in appliances. Five burner gas cooktop, by the way, everything in here is LG. Um, you bring here, you know, if you have to bring it to this, it's kind of nice with your hands and you're working or you're making some, you know, making some food. You can just do this number, wash your hands. You never have to touch it. It just keeps it, you know, keeps it really clean. Garbage disposal button is here. This is a Blanco composite sink. I can do this with or without a divider. You don't have to get the divider. There's no cost difference. It's a matter of preference. I like the division because it's two sinks versus one, but I've heard people, hey, how do I get big pots and pans? I get it, I understand. To each their own. I think everybody um, has a good idea when it comes to how they use their sinks. Um, the lighting in here, amazing. You have three recessed LEDs. You have pendant lights. You have lower, lower cabinet lighting. You have lighting that's built into the, to the glass cabinetry up here. This is all soft closed cabinetry. It's all adjustable. And notice that this is, I don't know if you, a lot of folks don't know what full overlay means. Full overlay means that whenever you close the doors, it actually covers the base of the cabinet. And what I mean by that is this piece. It minimizes the look of that. And it's just, it means that there's bigger doors. And I think that's nice. Another thing about bigger doors is the, the actual depth of these. So when you're out there shopping, make sure that you're actually looking at, you know, something more than just 11 inches or 10 inches or 12 inches. Very hard to get your bigger plates in those. Now, drawer stacks are common with Monarch. These are always, you know, standard in pretty much everything. By the way, if you're ever buying a Monarch home, this is pretty much what you're going to get. You're going to get remote controls. You're going to get garage door openers and all this stuff. It, let me give you a tip. I highly recommend to spend one day, get all this out and register every single thing you can in the home because sometimes you'll get free warranty stuff and that's always helpful. It's, it, it's free, you know, might as well register it, right? Frosted glass pantry door, that's an eight foot door. It goes to um, 10 foot ceilings. The shelving goes all the way up to eight feet. And then of course these stacks. Now, all this is standard stuff. Of course the fridge is not. Manny, if you can show this real quick. Look at the quality of this. And it's all LG. It has extra racking. You know, just really, really cool features. I really like to point these things out because a home is the sum of its parts. Monarch is a two by six builder, not a two by four. Um, they take the Energy Star very, very seriously, which will bring us in more into green stuff, but we'll talk more about this because this is such a focal point of the home. Herringbone patterns. This does vent inside and out, has three speeds. 
Mike, and uh, there's full extension cabinets, I mean, uh, drawers everywhere. Right? Egg everywhere. Yeah, they're all full extension and they're all soft close. Very, very beautiful stuff. And in this particular model, um, not like the one we did, the 2273, that home has like 54 kitchen cabinets. This one has like 42, so it was nice to, you know, add these in there to compensate for the, the uh, lacking of kitchen cabinets. It's a very useful kitchen. They even have like, you know, the trash can pull out, recycle as well. It, this is really cool. That way you don't have this, you know, outside for everybody to see next to your um, island or inside your pantry. Now, looking across from this, it's just, oh my gosh, like where do you start, right? Like where do you start? Drop or floating tray ceiling with accent lighting. This is also accent painted. Drop chandelier, large, large window in here. This is a picture window. What a picture window means is that this one does not open. It just, it's just there for the light. Um, blinds come with it, but this is really large. I mean, if you wanted a bigger table, a smaller table, I mean, this is, we thought this was very adequate. Um, still leaving a lot of space everywhere. And even if you get win another couple feet, it still wouldn't affect it. It's a very nice space. Uh, 10 foot ceilings from here and into the great room, you have a 12 foot tray jump and it jumps up here and you'll notice a few things. The lighting is standard. The big fan, the eight bladed fan with remote control is standard. These are not beams. It's made to look more like a coffer ceiling or to kind of resemble what beams kind of look like. Notice they're not wood look color. They are pieces of wood. They're 10 foot sheets of one inch thick wood and they put them together and they paint them. You'll notice there's gonna be seams in them if you look very closely, but it's not made to be perfect, it's wood. Um, wood does kind of, you know, that's why we don't do a lot of it because it does, you know, act differently in the, in the, in the Southwest weather. But all that's standard and there is a couple things that aren't. The, the fireplace is a very, very good deal right now, folks. You gotta call us to get the price. I mean, or, or I'll tell you what, for any price on any home, just comment below and I promise you, I'll give you the price of anything I'm talking about. Um, so Bonco, Granite Bonco, this is not a standard piece. If you don't get the, the fireplace option, you'll still get the place to hang your TV. We include the wood backing, we include the jerry tube, and of course, a power source. And a lot of folks aren't really using the, the tubes anymore. They're using wireless now. So um, the five point surround sound, that's something that we don't typically do, but wanted to show people how it looks in their home when they take delivery. And that's really our measure at Monarch is deliver a home that is comparable to the, the, what we're gonna be, or not comparable, but exactly what we can uh, tell customers what to expect from Monarch. This is the level of what you can expect. I can point out several parts that need some touch up, and that's just the way that all the homes are. You gotta spend some time in them first. Um, around here, Manny, if you can come take a look at this floor plug. Now, floor plugs, folks, are for electronic furniture, uh, extra plugins, you have an end table that has uh, a need for a lamp or you you know you like to read and the open concept is just nice to have we can put that anywhere in the great room you'd like we can do two of them if you'd like now Manny I uh, I'm, I'm kind of struggling should we go to the back or should we go to the master suite I think let's leave the back for, for the later. end um, it's actually one of my favorite backyards ever yeah easy maintenance um, I mean, it's just beautiful. I'll let you, you yeah. know, go into detail about that. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, since, you know, prices are what they are, people are gonna say, okay, what, how much is this home? Well, let me tell you this, everything you see in here is just gonna be over 500,000, everything. And I'm talking about washer and dryer, fridge, the backyard landscaping, move in ready, like you can move in tomorrow. That's literally um, what would get, get you for about, just over half a million, just except over Except for the 000. furniture and the salesman, right? Yeah, except for the, yeah, exactly. That might be a little bit more. <laughs> I can actually probably get you furniture. <laughs> We're pretty connected out here, Manny. We have a lot of friends. So here's the master suite. Um, it is very large, about 16 foot by 15, 16 by 14. This um, is a queen bed, even though the, the room makes it look like a twin, <laughs> but it is a queen bed. Um, you have your drop shelf here that has the lighting inside. We accent painted it. This is really beautiful at nighttime. One of many accent um, lights inside the home but you can see that this is actually ready for a bigger bed because the plugins are even further off to the side, so it's actually geared for a king bed. In this particular model, you have a closet off the master suite. And what's nice about that is you can get to the closet without disturbing the bathroom, so the bathroom's kind of a spa area. And I'll go into that in detail because that bathroom is amazing. Look at the built-ins. So Monarch is known for putting a lot in their closets, the way they finish them, the functionality of them, the design of them, how it's intended to be used. And this is no different from what, from what we've seen with Monarch to date. 
No, notice no fluorescent lights, they're all LEDs. Plenty of lighting. And folks, we can add more lights if you want. I mean, some people want it extra bright or, you know, we, we understand. Um, barn door, in this model particularly, barn doors are included. There's only one floor plan that I can't do barn doors because there's a radius on the wall. But this right here, barn door is standard. Does come with a hardware and it's actually a very heavy door. And it's made to look good, but also to give you a level of privacy from the master suite to the master bathroom. And oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you this. Manny, they're gonna see you in this. They're gonna see you in the... Uh... <laughs> so, his and hers, vanity, we did the plug-in through here. It goes down here, right? That'd be really, really nice. Um, you got the vanity, full extension drawers, all soft clothes. Rectangular undermounted sinks. You got the Delta faucets, the, the pop-out mirrors, the drop lighting, 10-foot ceilings. Look at all this, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six LED uh, recessed lights. Just that without including the drops. That's really cool. 67 inch freestanding tub, seven foot frameless glass door. And Manny, you're gonna have to come in here and take a look at this. We can present this the right way. This is amazing. So the heads are standard. These are adjustable and removable. So I can move them however I like, so it'll adjust. You can actually move this down or up so you can get the flow of the water however you'd like. You can take it off. It's really cool. Now, remember, this is standard stuff. Um, soap, soap dish. You don't have to put that near your tile. That's really nice. Shampoo nicho, bench, and your own control. And there's a mirror image of this right behind you, Manny. You know, I like the fact that the rain shower heads are not on the ceiling. Isn't that amazing? They're easier to clean. Yeah. It's, it's still a rain shower head. It is. But they're easy to clean. They're reachable. They're reachable. They're easy. And they look nice, right? And you they can look, change them nice. out if you want a bigger one, maybe. Yeah. Some people like the square ones, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, and yeah, that's the thing about these kind of things is that, you know, stuff like this is, they're fixtures. I mean, you can, you can change it out if you ever, you know, want to, you ever buy a home that has this and you want something more simple or something bigger. They do exist. Big old accent window here. This is really nice. And I mean, talk about a spa bathroom. I mean, this is just absolutely beautiful. You got your reading room over here. I think in the next, um, in the next community, I'm gonna talk to Monarch about adding soft close toilet seats because I think that's important. Right? I, I think so too. Right? I think so I, this builder already thinks about everything. Mike. He does. He, it's he, just... he, that's, isn't, it, isn't that right? Yeah. Every, every model home we've gone to has been a step up in terms of functionality, in terms of you know, staying ahead of the date. It makes it kind of hard of us because we've been through three communities in a short, just, I mean, we, we started what, in June of, of what was 20, it? Last? 2018, I believe. What, with Monarch? With Monarch alone. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, we actually opened up in May, but we were fully ready in June. Fully ready in June. And we've already, I mean, we've already gotten three model homes, our third one. And what we've seen, the progression of those, those models and those types of products is incredible. And it makes it hard on us because every time we go somewhere, there's a new product, which it's great for our buyers, but it's really hard for advertising. Because <laughs> we don't get to show these off until they're almost done or right before they're about to close. And uh, people should see that there are builders like this that exist in the production fashion. Let's take a look at that backyard, Mike. I'm excited about it. All right, Manny. So Marvin door, glass Marvin door. This opens up six foot wide now. Picture yourself in Los Angeles. Now remember, we're at 55 degrees here when there's no snow, um, there's no blizzard going on, there's no nothing like that. Take a look at this. Imagine listening to this. Imagine this real quick. So of course there's screens here, so you can actually listen to this from the, from the living room. But listen to this. Incredible. You can tell how well insulated even the doors are from the oh, yeah. sound. Yeah, it's just... Yep. On the inside of these doors, they're wood clad. On the outside, the, the, the cladding is uh, it's actually fiberglass. Very high-end um, energy, energy glass. And in terms of, you know, we talked about green homes earlier. You know, the best way to not have door knockers trying to sell you solar off the street is to work with us, to talk to us. At least let us give you a quote, because I can guarantee you this. When it comes to solar, especially in new and even resale, 
we're gonna give you the best price out there. You can, you can shop us, put us to the test. It takes literally, it's real easy to apply. Um, if you're a homeowner and you're looking at solar, you need to talk to us. Uh, Green Homes 101, we're starting to do videos under Green Homes 101, so folks can be better educated on, and better hooked up when it comes to solar panels. We've actually so, beat uh, seven quotes this yep, week. This week alone. Um, by about $20,000, Mike. Yeah. Some of these people with 1,500 square foot homes, they're getting like 40 or $50,000 systems. Yeah. When we can get them actually more, under 20, maybe even 15. Absolutely. Like it's just crazy how expensive some of these other folks well, are. There, there's two things to consider out there, folks, when you're buying solar. Um, number one, don't buy it from someone knocking on your front door. Um, that's for like Girl Scout cookies and stuff like that. You don't, you don't want to buy something as expensive as a Lexus, um, you know, and depend on someone like that. We are professionals. And what really triggered us to do this was that our clients were getting their doors knocked on. And that's okay at first, until we started seeing some of the prices. And being that me and Manny used to build green homes, we have a lot of experience in green products. We just found that to be unacceptable. So we opened up, um, we actually have um, three different installers, Manny. We do. We've got about we 20 finance companies that we work with. I mean, yeah. we have some for everybody and I'd encourage you. It's really easy to find out, believe it or not. I mean, you. so let's say if your bill's 180 average or 150 average, there's a way where we can literally bring that down to about 80 bucks a month. And that's what you're paying for the solar. And then um, your, your electricity bill is null and void. Like you're getting either a negative five or a positive five. It's like a teeter totter. And it very much depends on your usage. Um, all it takes for us to determine that to put it in our software is to get a copy of your bill. You can text it to us. It's real simple. And uh, we'd be happy to show you what we can do. I so, always ask people, yeah. why did you choose your electric company? Yeah. <laughs> They're like, well, I had no choice. And I'm like, well, you have a choice now. You have a choice now. And nobody's gonna increase the price on you. Cause every year, Mike, I end up paying about $20 more per month. Oh yeah. For my electric Not bill. to mention inflation, Manny, not to mention other things that are happening right now. I mean, there's, you know, it's always good to have a wedge against something, especially if it's saving you money, then it's a no brainer. So now out here, the patio, I always recommend an extended patio. There, the Rhino, by the way, did the actual stain. This is an option for Monarch. Um, this is extended and we added the fireplace. This fireplace is gas. There is an actually, it looks like there's gonna be a chimney here, but there's actually not. And what's cool about that is the unit stays warm, which means it's actually really, really warm right here, even with a little bit of breeze outside and it being 55 degrees. Um, now you can't do this in the Northeast or the Northwest. We still have water running here. And this is a pond. Um, the whole, everything that you're seeing, the, the grass that you're about to see over here, the flagstone, the gravel, all this, just over five, just over five hundred thousand dollars in Las Cruces. Why move here? Great weather, great food, close to things, but not too close. Your money goes a lot longer here. And people say, "Well, there's an income tax here." Well, yes, there is, but there's not three point three or three point five percent property tax either. So you know, property tax—that's you know—you kind of carry that like luggage out here. It's just over one percent of the sales price, which is really great. So. Really nice landscaping. You got rot, the, the uh, actual bordering of the, this is faux grass. What's nice about this, it's evergreen. <laughs> yep. And we could even do at that price, we could even include all the lighting that, you know, I told you at the very beginning was not included, but at, at a little over, I think I might be able to include the lighting as well. So flat screen pre-wire, extra lights. And this opens up for reference, six foot wide by eight foot tall. And remember folks, this home has very, very few upgrades. Even the finishes are standard here. These are level three to level seven finishes in this home. And uh, a lot of times you're gonna have to go to, you know, when you buy a new home, you have to go to meetings. And uh, those meetings are about, you know, hey, let's start you off at basic and then let's charge you on your way up to making something this pretty. At Monarch, we don't believe that. We don't wanna follow the status quo. Um, we wanna deliver a very good product. And um, what do you think, Matt? You think we should wrap it up? I think so. All right, I'm already getting calls and stuff like that. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please do. If you haven't been by 6151 Wild Sky, I encourage you to do, and I can't wait to see you there. Thank you so very much.